What's up everybody? My name is Alicia Way and today we are testing out audio on the Sony ZV-E10. I am very curious myself to know which audio variation and microphone variation works best for my particular situation. All right, so right, right now what you're listening to is the Sony ZV-E10 and the onboard microphone, okay? I have the onboard microphone set to 27 because all the way up is 30 and you know even though I wasn't clipping at 30 or anything like that that I noticed I still brought it down to like 27 because it's the onboard microphone I'm away from the camera I'm not up on the camera so you know there's a dead cat that comes with this camera or a pop filter that comes with this camera so I mean it's gonna be hard to clip necessarily but still I just turned it down to 27 just as a good reference starting point so what you're listening to right now is the ZV-E10 I'm about let's see one two three four five about six feet away from the camera yeah I'm about six feet away from the camera microphone level to 27 and this is the onboard microphone we're gonna be testing this out the onboard microphone versus the incomparable <laughs> Rode Wireless Go 2s and also the Rode Video Mic NTG. So I'm very curious. I've invested in this gear, this camera, this microphone system, and this shotgun microphone. I'm very curious which one sounds the best for my particular situation. Uh, as you see I'm outside so there it's not like I'm in a treated room or anything like that so I guess this would be specifically an outside test I'll probably do the same test again indoors and see if that makes a difference but for now we're about six feet away I'm gonna start walking backwards just to see how this sounds as I get further and further so six about seven eight nine ten eleven twelve feet away thirteen fourteen fifteen feet away mic check same voice level same intensity fifteen feet away sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty feet away this is what it sounds like twenty feet away from the camera using the zve 10 microphone level is set on body to 27 all right so 21 22 23 24 25 feet away might check might check this is what it sounds like 26 27 28 29 30 feet away this is 30 feet away from the camera on the sony zv e10 all right 31 32 33 34 35 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 feet away. This is what it sounds like on the Sony ZV-E10. 40 feet away from the camera, right? I guess we can keep going, you know? Let's go to 50, right? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. This is 50 feet away from the Sony ZV-E10, the onboard microphone. The level is set to 27. Outdoors, you probably hear the birds chirping. You probably hear all types of ambient noise. But this is 50 feet away from the camera. I'm going to slowly start walking up. From 50 feet, I'll start walking up. Five feet, 40 feet, this is 40 feet, right? 35 feet, might check, might check. This is 30 feet away, microphone check, onboard microphone check, Sony ZV-E10. 25 feet away, might check, might check, hey. 
This is 20 feet away. Mic check. Onboard microphone. Sony ZV-E10. This is 15 feet away. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is 10 feet away. 10 feet away. And this is six feet away. This is where I started. This is my starting point for the onboard microphone test for the Sony ZV-E10. Again, the onboard microphone level is set to 27. And I went all the way back to 50 feet. You probably couldn't hear me that good, or maybe you could, I don't know. Um, but we're outside, so like I said, you probably hear the birds chirping. Uh, now, we're gonna test out the Rode Wireless Go 2s. <laughs> the Rode Wireless Go 2s. We're gonna test those out. And I also wanna test out this uh, Rode Video Mic NTG. So we're gonna test these out and we're gonna do the same exact test. We're gonna go back about 50 feet and we're gonna see which one sounds better outside, okay? All right, so while I, while I was hooking up the Rode Wireless Go 2, I said, let me pull out my cell phone and just try to get the behind the scenes of that part because that's probably important too, just kind of showing it. So I have the receiver here on top of the ZV-E10. I already have my, mic, my Rode Wireless Go microphone uh, clipped. I do have the magnetic clip inside. Probably, I would probably get the best sound that way. I don't know. So now we're just gonna hook hook it up and uh, uh, test the levels. Make sure that we, we don't have any peaking, all right? So this will go into the microphone jack. Yeah, this video is gonna probably be longer than I wanted it to be now. Didn't, I, I didn't plan on doing all this, but I mean, it, it's, it's good. It's good info, so somebody might wanna see this part, so. We hook that in there, all right, and we hook this in here, right? Set the audio record level lower. Let me turn my mic on. I'm gonna turn my microphone on, and you should see the levels jumping. Yo, 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 like, yeah, you do. See right down there? Yo, yo see the levels jumping but you see you see it going into the red and I want to keep my voice pretty similar so we're on 27 so let's go ahead and turn the volume down to like 20 or something so we don't see no red yo 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 so yeah I'm pretty loud and yo it's not peaking but just a bit it still looks like it's it's exhausting that range so we're gonna go down to 15 Hell, yo, yo, but it's still exhausting that range. Yo, yo, so I don't know if the ZV-E10 only really shows if you're peaking. It would be dope if it actually showed a true, you know, a true scale. So you know if it's even peaking, peaking. But I'm going to put it on 20 because, so when I put it on 30, yo, it's, yo, 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 hold on. Yo, yo, it's still not peaking. I don't like that. Yo, I need I need something to I need something to show me that it's louder, louder, loud, too loud, distorted. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo. This is crap. I don't like that. If y'all know, if y'all know something better, then let me know, man. But I don't know, man. Uh, I guess we'll go halfway, right? So the max is thirty. So we'll go halfway. We'll go to 15, and we will test this out. All right, let's 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 do that. I thought this was worth noting too. Yo, yo, you can see my levels here. Yo, 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 they're not, they're not distorted. There's no red there. Mic check. There's no red on the actual uh, video, the road wireless go to. And there's no red here. Yo, yo. Yo, if you look down there, yo, yo, there's no red. So we're gonna see how that works out. Let's let's jump on the main camera and test it out. You should be hearing me on my Rode Wireless Go 2s. I'm six feet away, 
the same starting point as when I were started with the onboard mic. Um, I have the gain on the camera set to 15. It really wasn't giving me a true sense of levels because no matter how loud or how low it was, it kept going to the same range. I didn't see any red peaking even when I maxed it out at 30. So it would be dope if maybe you guys could let me know or maybe Sony come out with an update that really truly shows us low, low, you know, the range. As you turn it down, it should reflect that it's down. As you turn it up, it should reflect it's going up. But on my end, it's just keep giving me the same readout. So that's a little frustrating, but hey, we're here to test this out. Let's go ahead and test out the Rode Wireless Go 2s with the ZV E10 in comparison to the onboard microphone, right? We're gonna do the same thing. We're probably gonna go back about 50 feet. Well, these are supposed to have a range of over 200 feet, so we might even do more, right? So again, the level in-body camera is set to, I mean, the in-body level is set to 15, and this is this, so yeah, let's go. Mic check, plosive. Should I get my dead cats? Yeah, twist it down. I've never used this thing. All right. All right, so plosive should be better. Let's go. Sony ZV-E10 with the Rode Wireless Go 2s. Six feet away, camera level, volume set to 15. Mic, mic level, all right, so let's start backing up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 feet away. Fifteen feet away. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 feet away. Roll wireless go twos. Sony ZV-E10. One, 22, 23, 24, 25 feet away, right? 25 feet away. Six, 27, 28, 29, 30 feet away, 30 feet away. Any plosives might check. I'm pretty sure it sounds better when I do this, but we don't talk like that, we talk like this. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 feet away might check, 35 feet away, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 feet away. This is 40 feet away with the Rode Wireless Go 2s. 40 feet away from the Sony ZV-E10. The microphone level is set to 15, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 feet away. This is 50 feet away. This is where we stopped with the onboard microphone. So I'll cut back and forth at this point on the editing. Uh, you know, this is how it sounds with the Rode Wireless Go 2s, 50 feet away from the camera, right? Uh, and I'll probably go back, I can go back more on this one. So let's go back to 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This is 60 feet away. Uh, 60 feet away with the Rode Wireless Go 2s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 70 feet away. I'm at 70 feet away from the camera. I don't even know if you can see me still. Pretty much 70 feet away, like 69 feet away. 69, no, we'll say 68. 68 feet away, 68 to 70 feet away, we'll say that. And let's start walking up. Right, so getting closer and closer and closer away. I mean, first to the mic, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. This is what the Rode Wireless Go 2s, Rode Wireless Go 2s on the Sony ZV-E10. The microphone level in camera is set to 15. I don't know if this should be louder or should be lower or if this should be higher. 
This is why I'm testing this out right now. We are coming up on the camera and getting closer. And now we are back at our starting point, which is six feet away from the camera. So there you go. That is the Sony ZV-E10 with the onboard microphone that we tried first set at level 27. Now versus the Rode Wireless Go 2s, the M-Body level microphone level is set to 15. I do have the little pop filter on here. And that is how it sounds. Now we're gonna test out the Rode Video Mic NTG. See how that stacks up. Might as well, right? Let's go. All right, so now we are gonna test out the Rode Video Mic NTG. Um, yeah. We've already tested out the onboard microphone on this camera. Um, we just tested out the Rode Wireless Go 2s, and now it's time to test out the Rode Video Mic NTG. All right, so let's go ahead and plop this baby on there, see how it looks. All right, so we're just gonna put that joint in there like that. All right, and then we are going to. This goes into here, I suppose. All right. All right, so we have the Rode Video Mic NTG. We have it mounted and plugged in. That's how it looks, mounted and plugged into the Sony ZV-E10. All right. As you see, there are no audio levels jumping because the microphone is not on. So I'm gonna turn it on. All right. The good thing about this mic is it actually turns on and off with the camera right all right so now you see audio levels jumping down here yo yo all right so the level i have the mic i have the m body microphone set to 15 that's a good safe zone at unity i guess you would call that right in the middle uh the the actual microphone i have it set to is that 15 as well let's see here yeah, I think this is set to 15 as well. Sorry, y'all. I didn't know I was going to be doing all this. So, yeah. Oh, I guess 15 is the loudest it can go. Yeah, 15 on this is the loudest it can go. So, you can control the game from this little knob right here. So, I'm going to go all the way down to zip to 1. And, yeah. So, as you see, right, um, there's no levels jumping. So, I'm going to slowly turn this up. I'm going to slowly turn it up and just to get a good comfortable zone on the levels, right? So I'm slowly turning that up. Right now I'm at 13, I'm at 15 again. Yo, 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 yo. And I'm all the way up on the microphone, but as you see, see how the levels are jumping from like zero to up? That didn't do that with the, uh, with the, well, maybe it did, but, um, even though this mic is all the way up, it's still not peaking. So mic check, mic check. So I don't know. It's hard to gauge these, but it's it's definitely not even staying in that range. So let me just go ahead and just turn the onboard microphone up. Mic check. See, I wanted to stay within, you know, between 12 and three. So we're gonna go to 25 on this particular mic. Even though, granted, I'm behind the microphone, I think we're still gonna be safe. Uh, and I don't feel comfortable having this all the way up to the max either. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this to like 10. I don't, you know, yeah, I'm gonna take it to 10. So the onboard microphone on this is 10. I don't have any of this extra stuff selected like the the low pass or whatever that stuff is. If y'all want to see a dope video on this mic, go to Tom Buck's channel. This, he's the reason I even got this mic. But uh, he used it in he used it in the studio. I'm using it outside. But you probably hear a lot of other stuff. So let's not prolong the time. Let me jump in front of the camera and let's test this out and see how it holds up. All right. So again, 25 on the M-body uh, sound level 
uh, audio record level and 10 on this microphone let's go this time we are listening to audio through the Rode video mic NTG it's a little shotgun microphone I have it mounted right above the camera and I'm really interested to hear how it sounds I have the camera level set to record level audio level set to 25 because that's where it looked nice and comfortable in the range and I have the Rode video mic NTG set to 10 because I don't like maxing out the volume it might introduce some other noise I don't want so I just have it set to 10 I don't have any other of the settings set it's just raw microphone audio okay no bass boost no high pass or high low whatever it got on there I got to figure out all that so this is raw microphone audio levels with the camera set to 25 audio level and the mic set to 10 okay so you know that okay so you can tweak higher or lower based off what you think may work if you're in an outside environment but this is supposed to be a really good directional shotgun microphone it's supposed to pick up right in front of you really good so let's go ahead and test this out and see how it sounds as i back up all right so six feet seven eight nine 10 feet away right i can tell the sun is coming out so i may need to tweak my nd filter so i'm not overexposed let's let's do that real quick let's see here just yeah there we go probably like that yeah all right so i might be a little bit better all right six feet let's start over seven eight nine ten feet this is ten feet away from the camera all right with the Rode video mic NTG shotgun microphone all right 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 all right this is 20 feet away from the Rode video mic NTG shotgun microphone right on top of the Sony ZVE 10 21 22 23 24 25 this is 25 feet away i'm guessing that at this range 25 feet away the audio is probably isn't that good but then again i'm comparing this really to the onboard microphone because it probably still should sound better than the onboard microphone if this is all you got a shotgun microphone it probably will still sound better which is why i'm so interested to hear the difference right so 26 27 28 29 30 feet away this is 30 feet away from the zve 10 with the rode video mic ntg shotgun microphone 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 this is 40 feet away from the microphone Rode video mic NTG and the Sony ZVE 10 we're just gonna go to 50 feet one two three four five six seven eight nine fifty this is 50 feet away all right we'll slowly start walking back up to the camera so one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. This is 40 feet away from the camera. 40 feet away from the camera. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 feet away from the camera. You know, I think 30 feet, if you're doing some stuff like me, I want to get into doing workout videos. I think 30 feet is, is really my going to be my max range. So this is really where I'm looking forward to seeing, hearing how it sounded on all of the tests, 30 feet away, 25 to 30 feet away, because I'm not gonna be doing nothing 50 feet away and all that, so um, yeah. So 30 feet away, this is how it sounds. One, two, three, four, five. This is 25 feet away. Like I said, this is how it sounds. Can you hear my feet tapping? Can you hear my hands rubbing? I'm gonna get into some ASMR around this thing, right? Can you hear me whispering? Mic check, mic check, right? Mic check. Man, I should have did this on all the tests. Dang. 
I think of the good stuff at the end. You know what I'm saying? All right, 25 feet away. Let's go ahead and come up. One, two, three, four, five. It's 20 feet away. One, two, three, four, five. 15 feet away, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so five feet away. Really, I started at six feet, so that's why it looks a little closer. So cool, there you have it. That is all three tests. You heard it with the onboard microphone. You heard it with the Rode Wireless Go 2s. And now you're hearing it with the Rode VideoMic NTG. And on that, the mic is set to level 10 and the camera is set to level 25. And this sun is blazing. So, with that being said, give me your feedback. Uh, I'm really interested to know if someone doesn't have an external microphone, whether it's the Rode Wireless Go 2s or the Rode Wireless Go 1s, or a shotgun microphone like the Rode VideoMic NTG. I'm really interested to know if y'all think the onboard camera sounds just as good, right? Matter of fact, I'm gonna unplug this camera right, I'm gonna unplug this microphone right now and I, I, I think I'd rather end the video with the onboard microphone, so let's do that. Oh, low. Don't, don't kick your camera down, bro. All right, so there you have it. I wanted to end this test with the onboard microphone um, because a lot of people may not have external microphones, right? Especially new content creators. They might not have the Rode Wireless Go 2s. They may not have the Rode Video My NTG. They might not have an external microphone. So I was really interested. The point of this test more than anything was to see did those microphones make a significant difference. I know the Rode Wireless Go 2s probably made a significant difference, right? But they're $300 microphones, right? $300 microphone system, right? The Rode Video Mic NTG is 250. That's still 250, right? So the point of this is, does the onboard microphone sound good enough, right? Or, or is it okay enough for you to create content and your audio still be good enough for the viewers because audio is number one if your audio is bad people are gonna click off right so I want to see I wanted to see what this test is a $300 microphone system and a $200 micro $250, $250 microphone system a significant difference in the sound quality let me know right because like I said before a lot of creators may not have that extra expense they probably went out of their way to pay seven eight hundred dollars for this system the camera system, Sony ZV-E10, they may not have another $300 for extra mics. So, get, let me know in the comments, hey, Alicio, the onboard microphone, for what it is, sounds definitely good enough. Or, let me know, no, Alicio, the onboard microphone is garbage, it's basura, don't use it at all, right? And let me know if you don't think that that's the case, the onboard microphone is good. Let me know which other option you think is good. Probably going to be the Rode Wireless Go 2s because it's way more versatile, right? You have way more range and clarity in your voice. But the video might, Rode Video Mic NTG, it comes highly recommended as well. Maybe not for outdoors. Well, actually, there's a few videos where they're using it outdoors and it held up pretty good. So without dragging this video on any much longer, please let me know in the comments what you thought about the video, was the video helpful? Is the onboard microphone on the Sony ZV-E10 good enough? Or is it good still, right? Is it good, right? Or should you directly go for external microphones? Let me know, This hopefully this was encouraging to other creators who don't have a microphone, or if you're looking to get one, which kind you might wanna get, whether it's a wireless lavalier microphone system like the Rode Wireless Go 2s or a shotgun microphone system. You know, you hear a lot about talk about these mics on YouTube. So uh, I really wanted to do this test for myself because I literally have almost $600 in extra between those two systems is almost $600, right? $300 for the Rode Wireless Go 2s, $250 for the Rode NTG. With $600 extra expense, I wanted to see am I shooting myself short by not using one or the other. So this is more for a test for me as well. So let me know 
onboard microphone sounds good, leave it alone, Lico, or go with the Rode Wireless Go 2s or Rode Video My NTG. Ultimately, use what you have, right? Every model and I might not have all that. Use what you have. That's what's most important. Uh, whether it's no mic or a mic, just use what you have. But this is still a good test to maybe even see if it's an urgent matter for some creators. Like, oh, this is urgent. I gotta go. I was thinking about getting this. Now this is sealed the deal that I need to go get this mic. Or no, compared to the quality, I think I'll be okay to not get the mic and put some money into something else. But remember, your audio is, my, in my opinion, the most important thing about your videos, right? So definitely look forward to you guys feedback looking forward to me editing this video and comparing the three microphone uh, options that you have for the sony zve 10 all right i appreciate y'all watching and i will catch y'all in the next one peace